Hola Libra Sun Leo Moons, welcome to your 2024 Sun Moon reading. If it resonates, consider a personal pre-recorded or live reading. Just click on the link tree below to contact me or text me at 646-902-5715. When you see this is when you were meant to view it, it doesn't matter the time of year. Also check out your 2023 Sun Moon readings and see if they rang true for you or somebody you know. The first portion of this reading, I'll go over the traits of your sun moon combination, pull the main cards and take a quick look at your 2024. The second portion is in the Vimeo link below where I will have a deeper interpretation of those cards with clarifiers in addition to a card of advice for 2024. So Libra sun, Leo moons, you're so warm, kind, loving and affectionate. Compared to the other air signs, you are far more sentimental and less detached. However, you will be impartial if you need to be in coming to an honest decision. The danger in this combination is too complacent and leisurely of a lifestyle. You'd rather lie in the sun and daydream than do what needs to be done. Often you procrastinate or find distractions. Hold on. I'm going to take them. <laughs> or find... Oh, sorry, that distracted me. How you find you procrastinate or find distractions that you take away from the world of a drudgery? You're to take you away from the world of drudgery. You're often too easily lulled into fun and relaxation, which can detract from your professional life. This duo is also going to be incredibly social and extroverted. You can literally walk into any gathering and work your way smoothly around the room. People are attracted to your dining dynamic and charm. Be careful though because there are some people who might try to take advantage of your compassionate nature. In relationships, you're a true romantic. You tend to idealize connections and long to be in love forever. In fact, you're sorry, it's a distraction when they pop out. In fact, your whole being tends to get caught, tends to get wrapped up in romance, which ends up being another distraction from a task at hand. So well, well, I guess I don't even have to do the so here we are. <laughs> Here is your 2024. Also, look me up on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, donate in support of my efforts. That's always greatly appreciated. All right. So no shocker in January, February, and March with the two of swords in the upright, we're seeing indecision. Wow. Like you guys are never indecisive. Um, you can't kind of decide what to do. Um, you are kind of stationary, not doing anything. To me, this is a really intuitive card. Instead of, you know, what you see is what you get. You should use your other senses or intuition to kind of figure out how you're going to decide. But here you are just kind of sitting, wondering if more information is going to come in to tip the scales one way or the other way. Um, kind of guarding yourself. And meanwhile, it could be a decision that could have some backlash to it or something of that nature. So you may have a hard time deciding on a person, on a situation, on an entity during this period of time. April, May, June looks good with the four of wands in the upright. Either you're getting into a relationship where you're, at, you know, actually it's the inception of the relationship, the beginning parts where the two of you are starting to have talks about, hey, this could actually be something serious. What do you think about getting married? What do you think about getting engaged? What do you think about moving in together? Uh, perhaps meeting other each other's friends and families is often what I get from that card um, and just kind of laying down the, the groundwork in order to move forward. Very happy, um, very celebratory time for others of you, it's a time of, like I said, celebration, uh, family reunions, things of that sort, meeting up with friends you haven't seen in a long time. Um, or it could be you actually moving into a new career, moving into a new office, um, and you're very excited about it and very happy. So really good times to come for you in April, May, June. Um, July, August, July, August, and September has you uh, kind of everything is being put on hold during this period of time. You want to progress forward, but you're not. It's almost as though um, everything is suspended during this period of time. And I often tell people, um, you know, this is a really good time to have internal conversations with yourself. Um, if you can't really do anything or progress forward, then maybe, you know, do a little inside, like I said, inside talking to oneself in regards to to what your goals are, what you're willing to sacrifice, maybe making a plan, you know, kind of doing side work if you can't necessarily push push forth in what you really want to do. So the big question you ask yourself is why am I hung up? Why am I suspended? What can I do to kind of break out of this with the hanged man? And the four of cups in October, November, December shows an offer coming in for you, but you aren't you're very disinterested in what it is. So um so for instance, here you could be kind of hung up, maybe not getting any, job, any um, offers that you want in terms of a relationship, in terms of a career, a job, um, you know, traveling, whatever it is. Um, 
you know, it's not happening for you. And then I feel like in October, November, December, something does come forward, but it's not something you're interested in. You're looking at these cups saying, but I want these. I don't want that. I want this. So you're very focused on that and kind of making that happen. But I don't feel like you can make it happen. Like I said, I feel like you're still hung up. And anything that's going to come in and be offered to you is going to be lesser than. So you're not going to be enthused or really thrilled about it. You're not even interested in looking in the cup. Um, you may want to check it out just to see. It could be something that is a temporary stint or a temporary situation just to get you to something else. Um, but, you know, I'm not going to tell you what to do. Uh, that's just a little advice I'm shooting out there for you. So that's what I have for you at this present time. If it does resonate, consider personal pre-recorded live reading. Just click on the link tree below to contact me or text me at 646-902-5715. But make sure you click on the menu link below. I'll be pulling these cards on those cards for a deeper interpretation. In addition to a card of advice for 2024, check out your 2023 sun moon reading. See if they're rang for true for you or somebody else. And then finally, look me up on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, donate, or for a friend in support of my efforts. Always greatly appreciated. Otherwise, Libra, Sun, Leo, Moons. I will see you in the Vimeo reading. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.